Guys, I just slipped and fell down the stairs like five five minutes ago. Don't ask how it happened. Just know it hurt. What's goody? Welcome back. Hope everybody's staying safe. Today, I'm giving my first impressions on Modern Warfare 2, man. I put a good bit of hours into the beta so far. We only got like four maps, I believe, in the, the normal multiplayer side. We only got two. Well, well, they're search and destroy now. I haven't played that yet, but I am going to give my first impressions and then after the beta is finally over i'll give my full full-fledged thoughts and reviews on the beta so stay tuned for that but today is only about my initial reaction to the beta after playing some games let's get right into it so my impression my take on the play style of the game the way it flows and everything it reminds me of ghosts I'm not gonna lie. This this is a beta, obviously, so things will change. But so far, some of y'all might not understand what I mean. Some of y'all might not agree. What I mean by that is when Ghost first dropped, the time to kill was very fast, like really, really fast. And that kind of reflects on this game. I think this is probably the fastest we ever got. So the gunfights really feel like if you're not ready for the gunfight first, you're gonna lose it. Um, You die really, really fast and you kill really, really fast in this game. So a lot of my gunfights have been really pre aiming It's been more of knowing who's coming around the corner first and um, pre-aiming first, positioning yourself. It's kind of hard to get like a two piece, three piece. If the other person, you know, has a good reaction, they're able to trade you out. That's been a little bit of a struggle of mine, but I have gotten a couple of three pieces and whatnot um, while I've been playing the beta. But just the way I think the spawns and the maps flow for me, in my opinion, uh, it's given me a lot of a lot of ghost vibes. It's, it's definitely, it feels good. It feels cool. Um, I've never really complained about having longer TTK, having shorter TTK, it's not really that much of an issue to me. I kind of just deal with it. The movement is a lot different. Um, there's people like going through the depths to learn slide canceling. I personally don't really care about it. I'm not an addict for slide canceling. I don't really care if they change the movement. I just kind of adapt to what what there is. I'm not about to be pressing all these buttons and, and combos just to do a slide cancel. Like, it's not that serious to me. I'm just gonna shoot my gun. But in the couple of maps that they gave us in the beta so far, they give me like IW map design. Y'all can see right there what I mean by IW. They give me like an IW map design. I don't know why. I might be wrong. Some people might think of something else, but the game that comes to mind when I play these some of these maps is is IW. Except for maybe one of them. Honestly, no, I, I, I would say that it gives me a mix of ghost and IW maps. Just the feel, the flow, and the way the spawns are working so far. It's giving me some of those vibes. So I'm not complaining about it. I honestly like the maps so far in the beta better than the maps that we got in Modern Warfare 2019, I'm not gonna lie. It's just something about the flow that it just feels natural to me when I'm playing some of these maps. So obviously we gotta stay tuned and see what other maps they drop in the beta, but so far I'm liking the maps, man. I will drop a gameplay next on the, my favorite map of the beta so far. So y'all will see that when I drop it, I'll, I'll be sure to mention um, the name of the map. I don't really know the map name right now. The Dolphin Dive is back, it's cool, it's fun. I don't think it's like, uh, useful. I never thought the dolphin dive was ever useful. God damn it, bro. How can you be that ass? Mechanic. It was just fun to do. It's cool though. I like to do a dolphin dive into cover. It's not bad, but you know what I'm saying? I'm not complaining about having it back. I never had any issues with it. I just never thought it was a useful mechanic. I think the sliding is more like Ghost, where you're locked into a slide and you can't shoot until you're out of it. What you had to do in Ghost was like time your slides the right way. So you, you know, you come and you pop out. Or you slide up onto a heady or slide into a doorway and pop out on somebody. So usually that's how you would maneuver around in, in, in Ghost gameplay. That's kind of why, another reason why I get those type of vibes from this game. When I when it comes to the guns, I haven't been able to to actually use the submachine guns regularly. They made, we, I had to kind of do this little, I don't know if it's a glitch or a method to get the MP5. But that's what everybody's been using for the subs and, and um, it kind of shreds. I'm not going to lie. I'm still trying to learn the build. Uh, I'm also trying to learn the, the create a class, the receiver system. It's, it's a little weird because I could pick a different gun and then switch to like an M4 receiver and then get attachments that I couldn't get by picking an M4. I don't know if that's intentional, but it's, it's real confusing. But like I said, I'll work around it, you know, do what I have to do to use what I want to want to use. But if I wanted to get a red dot on my M4, I couldn't use the regular M4 and then put a red dot on it. I had to switch to a different class, to a different weapon, 
switch to the m4 receiver and then put the red dot and all the attachments on it it was a little bit weird i'm not gonna lie like i said it might be a glitch i don't know if that's intentional but uh we're gonna figure it out it's still a little weird to me the ak-74u is pretty um uh, it's pretty good out the box on the default class i don't know what attachments they got on that um but i was not able to level that gun up at all or put any attachments on it so that's weird like i said i don't know if some of this stuff is intentional but we'll figure it out and you know what i'm saying we work with what we got the perk packages is a little weird um i'm not sure you can pick whatever perks you want for the classes you can only pick the packages i'm not really complaining about it i think what they're trying to do is emphasize like roles in the game like you know what i'm saying if you're if you're a rusher if you want to hold two weapons if you want to be a silent person or someone who takes all the hits um, you kind of get locked into a certain perk package so you can only really pick a set combo of perks that they put in the game That's that's pretty new to the game, but we'll see how it works out You know, it's not really hurting me in the long run All I've really been doing is just trying to get a bunch of kills in the beta Like I haven't really been customizing everything because we can't really unlock everything yet anyway So there's really no point I haven't tested the sniping yet because that sniper rifle is super slow and um I don't know really how to unlock it I'm sure there's like all these methods and glitches to get the guns that you want to get in the beta but I'm just gonna wait and hold off on on everything I might as you know I'm not gonna stress myself out trying to use stuff that's not unlocked like I said I'll just wait till everything's out if it, they drop it in the beta or if I gotta wait till the full game drops, I'll just wait for there. I'll get full reviews on everything when the game fully drops. Other than that, so far, everybody I'm really running into is like, they try. I feel like every match they try to play the game a little bit. And then once they get no kills, everybody starts camping. So uh, I'm not gonna judge it right now on the state of the beta and the game, uh, you know, right now. This is just my first impressions. Um, but I'm not gonna go to in depth man those are just uh the key points everything for the most part everything else is quite similar to mw 2019 there's not too much to go in depth about you know the mini map and all that stuff works the same the uavs kill streaks i haven't unlocked everything so like i said i'll go in depth and give a full review on some of them other points when the beta is fully unlocked or when the game fully comes out but yeah i'll keep you guys updated on my impressions so far though i've been liking the game for real, I've been, I'm gonna keep playing it. Obviously, I know I'm gonna like it better when everything else comes out. So I'm just staying tuned and holding off. But yeah, that's that's my first impressions of the beta so far. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. If you guys been enjoy, enjoying the beta or if you didn't like it, man, comment down below. Let's have a little discussion, man. Drop a like if I did hit any key points in here, man, that uh, if anything was relatable. Subscribe for more Call of Duty content, for more bangers. I'm gonna be dropping a whole bunch of beta content, a whole bunch of Modern Warfare 2 content. And you know, we're gonna be on the camo grind as soon as the game drops so stay tuned for the methods go ahead and drop a sub thank you guys so much for watching make sure y'all hit my socials i'll see you on the next video be easy